Let's take a look at a, a push-pull output. Now, uh, in our last video, we used uh, comparators, and comparators typically have uh, open collectors where they'll just uh, sync current, and if you need to source current, uh, you need to add an uh, external pull-up resistor to it. And uh, op amps uh, typically have uh, push-pull outputs. So we're going to take a look at a push-pull. So I made one out of a couple transistors here. And uh, now I did use a, a dual voltage power supply. I made that out of a couple of batteries. Um, these have to be uh, lithium ion batteries here, uh, you know, 3.7 volts or whatever. And uh, negative to positive, positive to negative. And then these, this side here is tied to ground. And then we have our negative and positive up here. So we have a positive, negative here, and our ground down here. So what happens here is if we put, uh, we take this side here, uh, make that positive. And then the uh, NPN transistor is going to turn on and the PNP is going to be off. And then current is going to flow through the uh, NPN out to the ground out here and turn on this uh, red LED here. And then if we take this side and make that uh, uh, negative, then the MP P NPN transistor will be off, PNP will be on, and then it's going to sink current through here to from ground down to this uh, negative 9 volts over here. So that's how our push-pull output is going to work on the, with these two transistors. So if you have a, a positive voltage here, we're going to be uh, sourcing current. If you have a negative voltage out here, we're going to be sinking current. So, And then I, I hooked up a little op amp just to show you how that works. This one's an LM741, uh, just a little jelly bean op amp. Now, you can use these as comparators. Uh, in, in the open loop configuration where we don't have any uh, feedback on here at all. We're just hooking it up just like a, uh, you would a comparator. So same thing happens here. I've got a, 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 you know, a red and a blue LED. And if it's red, then this is going to be positive. If it's blue, this will be negative. And depending on uh, your inputs here, um, you have your inverting input and your not in inverting input. And if the, uh, the positive side here is greater than the negative side, then this is going to be high. And if it's the opposite way around, it's going to be low. So you'll be able to uh, either sink or sort current that way. So we'll take a look at it and uh, see how it works. So here we are here. You see, yeah. So this is my, uh, the two transistors over here. Now, if I put this in the uh, negative side, I get my blue light comes on. And if I put that into positive, the red light will come on over there. So that's my positive. This will be negative. So if I go back and forth, it just goes from, uh, you know, uh, source uh, that sinking current to, to sourcing current there. Now, here's the uh, uh, LM741. And right now it's, uh, it's uh, sourcing current. The, the red light's on. I've got it in the positive over here. And then if I put it in the negative here, the uh, the blue light's going to come on. I'm going to be sinking current. So uh, I have uh, pin 2 here, uh, the, the non-inverting tied to... I, I have a voltage divider here, so I have half the voltage on that. And then I can I just change in the, uh, the voltage on the uh, pin 3 here. But that's how that works. And uh, this one here works good. We just... Uh, we can go back and forth uh, with the push pull, so that's uh, that's all there is to it, and so that's a little push pull uh, output. So thank you.